I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday December the 22nd and I think everybody's ready for a Christmas break uh, just kind of slow things down or actually just shut it down to a complete halt uh, be hardly any uh, marketing of uh, especially feeder cattle over the next week and and uh, probably a whole not a, not a whole lot of business of any kind but uh, before I get into all the markets on the last day before the shutdown uh, I do want to wish everybody a heartfelt Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from my employer DV Auction and a lot of people ask me what is DV Auction well DV Auction is an online broadcaster of auctions and, uh, and they support the uh, auction method of marketing your livestock uh, we invite everybody that's having a production sale getting ready for production sale season we did over 1200 production sales last year or this past year and uh, looking to do that many or more this coming year and uh, we can uh, get in there and help you do it from start to finish if you need help with your videoing we can take care of that if you're tired of running bulls through the ring and, and worried about one of them uh, hurting himself or or uh, acting up in the ring and killing the sale of him we can uh, bring TVs along and they have a TV sale there we can help you do everything do an online catalog and uh, we can do it all in the production side of things that's that's our mainstay and uh, we may not advertise as much as some and we don't charge as much as some but we've done more of these than anybody else and we've got more registered buyers than anybody else and and uh, you might wonder why DV auction doesn't have a steerhead logo and some kind of a cowboy name or silhouette or something DV auction has been in business since the 1990s it stands for digital video that was a big deal at the time and uh, we, we kept that up and also getting very active started out as the first one to ever put a camera in a sale barn and uh, still very active on the commercial side if you have a commercial sale barn we want to broadcast your sale uh, if uh, we can help you with uh, with the online uh, broadcasting where people maybe your customers or buyers or prospective buyers can watch your sale and uh, just see what's going on or they can actively bid on the sale or a combination of both whatever you want to do uh, if you're already broadcasting your auction market on uh, uh, maybe Cattle USA or LMA auctions or something like that that's fine we still would like to tie into your uh, computer's uh, clerical system and get your market data out and uh, and put it out in reports like this one and on our national beef wire market screen and promote your sale barn and the kind of market that you're getting in your sale barn uh, it, it gives a lot of uh, real-time data and uh, a lot of uh, market information comes out that way we will not be out beating the bushes uh, soliciting your cattle that normally come to your sale we do not solicit cattle we solicit auctions and uh, that's what our main deal is that's our only deal but uh, also all this market information goes into the national beef wire which if you haven't seen that uh, you're really in for something it makes all your other market screens look like a chalkboard in the lobby of the exchange building but absolutely the coolest thing out there we got scrolls on the top with your steer tracker on there we've got scrolls along the bottom with the 25 largest lots around the United States uh, we've got uh, up to the minute news and market information scrolling there we've got the board on there we got cash markets from everything from the box beef to the drop value to uh, just about everything on there and uh, we would like to include your auction market on there and, and make it available for me to, to comment on these reports and we can do all of that uh, the pulling of the data and putting it on the National Beef Wire free of charge and we'd be willing to give you a free subscription to that National Beef Wire for sharing the information if you're a sale barn so uh, uh, that's a little bit about that let's get back to the markets appreciate you uh, humoring me there the board on Thursday, February live cattle up 72 cents, ending the day at 119.67. December live cattle futures, a spot market up 22 cents at 119.62, and very close to the weighted average that we already have established for this past week's trade. March feeder cattle up 65 cents on Thursday at 140.40. 
your January spot uh, feeder cattle futures up a dollar fifteen at one forty two ninety two if you notice that one forty two ninety two on your spot January futures is uh, ten dollars from the latest CME feeder cattle index which really hasn't been out for the last couple of days I'm not sure why but uh, eight dollars from your real-time index on beef market central the fat cattle trade so far for the week traded most of them on Wednesday 71,200 head in the five area feeding region uh, most of your sales were right around a dollar twenty uh, your weighted average price on live steers in the five area feeding region is 119.92 so far uh, your dress steer weighted average is sitting at 190.17 both of those are about 20 cents higher than the same weighted average a week ago or, or the weighted average for the entire week last week we had more sales on Thursday at $1.20 however those might have been a pinch lower because they were in that western Nebraska Colorado Wyoming region that's been running at a slight premium because of the shortage of market ready supplies in that part of the uh, the five area feeding region but a buck 20 up there which is, is a good market but they did have most of their sales at 120 and a half last week box beef cutout values uh, that choice select spread continues to tighten as uh, the rib primal uh, is starting to dive off because of the lack of holiday demand because there's not enough time to get it there by the holidays now and but your select has been strong uh, all week this week Choice cutouts 198.12, which is basically steady but up three cents. Select cutouts 186.87, up 138. That gives you a choice select spread of $11.25. Your slaughter so far for the week, pretty respectable leading up into Christmas this close. 471,000, that's just 4,000 off of last week, and 14,000 more than the same week a year ago. Actual dress steer weight uh, for the for the actual slaughter data coming out for December 9th had uh, your your steers dress steers averaging 904 that's back up a pound we thought we'd we'd, we'd lost that 904 which it peaked out at two weeks ago and was down at 903 on the report that came out last week now back up to 904 so still some awful big cattle out there look at your feeder cattle market your real-time index on beef market central on the average of seven to eight hundred ninety-nine pound steers, one fifty sixty-three. That's down a dollar fourteen compared to late on Wednesday. And uh, you know, you wonder why that January spot feeder cattle contract is running so far behind what your feeder cattle index levels are, is because they know that as we go through this holiday, there's going to be hardly any volume going through these auction markets. There's not going to be much of a pool to pull those indexes from and uh, and it's going to drop because you're going to have it's the, the small bunches are going to make up as much as the big bunches and it's going to drop that level and it's starting to do that already. But look at some sales that still had some good sales on Thursday. Farmers and ranchers livestock had over 2,500 head on Thursday. You look at your automated market report from Cattle Market Central, that's what I'm talking about, pulled right from the block. Uh, nobody had to do anything it just the computer pulled it all in there so there's no room for any mistakes feeders were unevenly steady uh, you had a few calves that were higher but had a light test of those lighter weight calves that did show to be higher on there but uh, unevenly steady and that's kind of been the pattern here this week on the few sale barns that did have a pretty good run but uh, you look at the popular weights on that automated report from cattle market central for Salina 208 head of six weight steers average 648 at 156.42 that was a dollar and 27 cents lower on the weighted average than a week before 286 head of seven weight steers average 743 at 150.30 that was actually up nearly a dollar and a half compared to last week's weighted average but uh, the biggest uh, slug of them was in the eight weight group 653 head of eight weight steers averaged 838 at 144.63 down 32 cents uh, you look at Pratt Kansas they had a, a, a decent run too, about 2100 head there uh, the uh, federal state market reporter called those uh, steers uh, feeders steady to six dollars lower but if you look at the automated report there you see that the full decline was on the lightest test and so uh, you know that that could have been kind of a harsh 
uh, call right there, but still uh, a lower market nevertheless. Look at an individual quote on Thursday here right before Christmas, Clarinda Livestock Auction in Clarinda, Iowa. My friend John Anderson there on Thursday at 10.30 in the morning, they had 75 head of steers, weighed 758 pounds at 160.10. Now this will be the last feeder flash for a while, won't be having any next week as all your sale barns pretty much are closed except for maybe a, a replacement cow auction, uh, looking for some guys that have a tax problem, but uh, not going to be a lot of feeders moving at all or anywhere. But uh, we'll put out a, a weekly summary and, and kind of give a wrap up of this year's activities uh, early next week. But uh, that's your feeder flash for Friday.